Let's talk about how to get more leads and attract referral partners on social media without stalking your friends and family. Point number one, the first tip on how to optimize your social media presence to grow your loan officer business is to pick two platforms to master. Two, focus your efforts. There are so many social media platforms out there and it can be tempting to try to be active on all of them. But the truth is, it's better to pick two or three platforms that you can focus your efforts on rather than spreading yourself too thin by trying to maintain a presence on all of them. Not sure which platforms to focus on? It's believed that realtors are most active on Facebook, so that might be a good place to start. I'm also a fan of TikTok, and I see lots of realtors having success on Instagram. But you do your due diligence. Take a look, see who you want to follow, figure out who you want to follow you, and go to that platform. But you have two or three to pick from. Point number two, let's move on to the next tip, and that is use your personal profile. You can always create separate business pages, but using your personal profiles on social media has a lot of advantages. First, potential clients are more likely to trust a person than a business. So using your personal profile can help build that trust. And second, you can use your personal network of friends and followers to get some initial traction. After all, they should be some of your best advocates. Just be sure to set privacy settings so that only people you know can see your personal information. Now, before I move on to the next tip, if you want to learn more about do's and don'ts of social media for loan officers, then make sure you click on the link in my description box and the comment section below because I have a free guide that will dive deeper on how to use social media to get more leads and referral partners. The guide will walk you through how to establish a powerful digital footprint that will get you more clients. Again, make sure you click on the link in my description box and comment section below. Now, with that out of the way, let's move on to the next tip on how to optimize your social media presence to grow your loan officer business. Point number three, the next tip I have for you is when it comes to how to optimize your social media presence to grow your loan officer business is complete your profiles. Do complete and update your social media pages and profiles. Mortgage loan officers who want to make a great first impression should take the time to complete their social media profiles completely. This includes filling out all of the profile information, including contact app information, right? Can you imagine if somebody wanted to reach you and they couldn't? It blows me away when I see loan officers on LinkedIn that don't have their current or any contact information in there. If I was a buyer or a realtor and I thought they had the most awesome post and I was gonna reach out to them and I can't call them, the likelihood of me actually messaging them after I, messaging them after I noticed that they don't have any of their contact info, not gonna happen. It's kind of like when you see an email and it has the person's name, like when you see another professional in our industry and it has their name, but none of their contact information in the signature, I really question their professionalism overall. That's pretty basic stuff. All right, so that includes filling out all the profile information, including contact information, uploading a high quality profile picture and cover photos. A fully completed profile gives potential clients and referral partners confidence that you are a credible and qualified representative. Remember to include who you serve and your unique value proposition. Point number four, the next tip on how to optimize your social media presence to grow your loan officer business is sell consistently and genuinely. Do ask for the business, sell frequently and genuinely on a regular basis. One of the main goals of social media is to generate leads and sales. So you should definitely be asking for the business regularly. If you don't ask, you don't get. One out of every five posts should be asking your audience to make a specific action towards doing business with you. 
whether it's getting on your email list, subscribing to your newsletter for buyers, home buyers, for realtors, market update, whatever the case may be, ask them to send you a DM or to book an appointment. Point five, the next tip on how to optimize your social media presence to grow your loan officer business is post regularly. Do post regularly. If you want to maintain a strong social media presence, then you need to post regularly. This doesn't mean that you need to be posting every hour of the day, but you should aim to post at least once a day, if not more. One way to make sure that you're posting regularly is to create a content calendar and schedule your posts in advance. Again, you're not fully automating everything. And when you do post, you'll know when you're gonna post, right? Whether it's automated or not, make sure you take time to be available so that you can react to any comments that you get, right? That way it's all live and it's genuine, okay? Um, also, if you schedule those things, you can batch your content creation and have a backlog of content to share when you don't have time to create new content. Now that you know how to optimize your social media presence, but you may not know the most important social media etiquette tips for loan officers, if that's you, watch this video where I'll talk about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to please subscribe, share, give me a comment. Appreciate you. Cheers to your success.